Oh, but Tomo with a flash out, gonna be staying safe for now. River soaks the spear up by the grub pit at the same time, securing the second one of those. Tomo still alive with about 100 HP, but it's first blood for Berserker as the last minion gives him enough time to walk in there and take that away as the last void grub is stolen by Blabber in the top side river. Yeah. Plenty of AoE on 100 Thieves, uh, and you just try and burst down the LeBlanc while it is rooted temporarily, but bottom lane is the focus at the moment. Ayla going in for the flash engage. They want Vulcan. They know how squishy he is without that ult. Ultimate bullet time forces them back from any sort of an additional follow-up. Already opened up for Cloud9, so the kill's gonna be nice. Unfortunately, it went over to River, and it didn't allow them to actually get priority on this Drake, so Blabber's yeah. just gonna kind of continue doing what he's been doing, and Thanatos is having a great time top lane 1v1. Oh, he's enjoying that one, and Quid is not struggling a whole lot here in mid lane against JoJo's LeBlanc, it would seem. Make sure that he's always thinking twice before stepping up, because your team wants to start the grubs. Interesting lane situation here. JoJo is bought, free hitting the wave and slowly pushing it to turret. He has his teleport if C9 want to fight, and here and it comes. They do. JoJo's ready to make his way into the fight. The first grub is down to about 800 HP. River and the rest of 100 Thieves looking to secure that one for themselves. They've got it. Cloud9 still looking for their entry into the fight now. Thanatos on the side, Vulcan makes the engage, but it's only under River. Thanatos here with the Dominus, but oh. he's in the middle of everybody. Thanatos is way too far forward, and Sniper gets a headshot. Vulcan in the middle now of all 100 Thieves. Bullet time comes through, but all it does is force them back for an extra second. The Void Grub still being taken low. Blabber doing a good job walking up there to steal away a second the same way he did the first time. But four out of six ain't bad. 100 Thieves will at least secure the baby Void Grub spawn. Be able to control the neutrals here. Get your original. Rift Herald charge, be able to use that towards mid lane, uh, continue to increase their gold lead that they do have, uh, and then they'll open up more angles for the LeBlanc to be able to combo people, to pick people off. There we go. from Vulcan. River's eating a whole lot of damage in the bullet time. Twisted Advance to try to get himself away, but it ain't going to be good enough as JoJo takes him out. Thanatos into the back now, locking up Tomo. The Rift Herald secured by Blabber as the Ziggs barely walks out. Thanatos trying to get away from Sniper, who's gone all out and looking to deal with them. Rain was over top of his character, and I was watching it just whittle away. That was a hero play from Sniper coming in and tackling him away, but Sniper now... Oh Oh, he pops the Pathmaker already. He wanted to try to use that to buffer through the CC from Vulcan. But he popped it a little bit too early. Vulcan knew exactly what the play was going to be. Read him like a book, and that's another kill of it. A Cloud9 now. They're 2,500 gold up, wanting to make it three here with this turret claim to the bottom more. lane. First turret of the game as Ayla now once again in a bad spot. It's a 3v2, but Quid and Tomo are both ready to arrive. 100 Thieves firing back a little bit here, but C9's calling in troops of their own. JoJo makes his way into the fight. Vulcan still chasing. River with a flash away. Tomo doing the same. 100 Thieves. Still looking at maybe there's a little more, but no, sir. It's almost a three and a half thousand gold lead for C9. He's want to give this one away. River's gonna approach. He still has Maokai ultimate. Ayla is at about 300, 400 HP. This is not a very safe spot for him to be. Vulcan goes into the engage on Quid. River now in a tight spot as well. Thanatos finds the first kill on Ayla, and 100 Thieves are sent running yet again. Jojo goes after Tomo, needs a little bit more damage. Bullet time, cutting him to pieces. Sniper trying to get one back on Blabber. Needs more damage, but he can't find it. Berserker's gonna push up the rest of the wave here. Escort this one in, kaboom. Let's see if they want to really care about getting the second charge. Not sure whether or not they do. Jojo jumping in after Surely. Quid here. Has to reset that position. River cannot get on top of him in time. And now Vulcan and Blabber coming around to complete the job. Unbreakable will used for the tower dive. It's just too easy, man. But now the price might be paid by the Cloud9 jungler. Blabber's locked up. And there's enough damage for 100 Thieves to take him out. Make it a one-for-one -one trade. Play with for your LeBlanc and your Nidalee, who are walking around hunting through Fog of War, and Thanatos who has been crushing it since lane phase. Two items on the Renekton now as well. Has the Sterex for the extra tankiness. A very good job utilizing the vision from the, uh, the plants there to be able to play safely, even though Ziggs can just blow up the tower on the bottom side. The rest of Cloud9 pushed mid and top. The rest of the team is trying to delay around this dragon. C9 kind of let him in, though. They just gave away mid push, and they're completely in river because of the JoJo top push. He's teleporting into the flank. As well. Yeah, keep your eyes on Vulcan. He's always ready to go in for these engages. 100 Thieves is clumped up pretty tightly. The engage only finds Sniper. He's going to be fine for oh, now. Boy. He goes all out, and he drags Thanatos into the middle of everybody. Sterex keeps him alive. Thanatos gets away. Bullet time looking to peel, but Sniper cuts him up. 100 Thieves find their angle.
They what? stun locked him. JoJo just stayed at the t at the teleport for Quid to arrive, and then they just brought Thanatos back into the rest of them while the other half of the team was staring at the other side of the team fight. And Sniper jumps back in. Thanatos to was originally in range of where the bullet time would help. Did. Now Vulcan's going in. Three man pulverize. Bullet time coming in back over the top as Ayla tries to lock up Cloud Nine. Help bars are dropping oh. fast, and JoJo's the first to fall. Hundred thieves already have two, and they don't wanna stop. Stop. 100 just popped the enemy solo laners and Baron's on the menu. Baron's gonna get picked up. Honestly, the market manipulation by 100 Thieves yeah. has been genius. The they objective have, bounties were dude. up for every ba uh, every objective that they've taken. They have claimed way more than the standard deduction <laughs> on their insurance payments. They are just way cash positive out of this objective bounty trade. Actually, the, the double knock up there from Vulcan uh, at the beginning was pretty nice. Got the flash out of Tomo at the very least, but the counter engage was just so much better. And approaches. And Thanatos yeah. is trying to fight as well at the same time as River's River. already made his way into the fight and JoJo's about to get bursted down. Quinn takes him out. And Ayla with another beautiful lockup. C9 is crumbling in front of the Thieves. The gold lead finally back in Hundred's hands. Hundred Thieves. Damn, they're looking good in this mid game. River and, and Ayla are able to just run at them. The Maokai yeah. goes in, gets the initiation, zigs bomb over the top. Then the second engage from Ayla, and now 100 Thieves with the remnants of this Baron buff. One minute left on it. They're inside the base already. We were talking back at the start of this game about how this draft from C9 looked like they were confidently saying, we're just a better team. You're not going to outplay us. He played it perfectly because not only did he get the initial play with the uh, flash twisted advance that we mentioned, but his oh, ult again. He's flashing over the wall again. The He's twisted advance on kill. top of the nature's grasp. River knows that JoJo cannot deal with them. Vulcan doesn't even get a chance to do anything back. River continues chasing. This tree has no fear. Quid and Ayla right behind him. I mean, they're the ones, as stated at the very beginning, with very, very easy team fight here. Just straight running them over like a truck. Now they're again at the door yeah. here for another inhibitor tower. Bottom's already taken, and the supers are going in the base. Vulcan tries to peel a little bit. Okay, 100 Thieves have broken the first inhibitor turret. They got to be a little bit careful here. Rasp is flying in, and Cloud9 will be forced away from their last remaining tier three turret. All of those now rubble, thanks to 100 Thieves. Mid lane inhibitor about to drop but just barely hanging on. It's still burning to the void damage. But the Corky Rockets are a little bit more threatening. Yeah. Now only that one inhib left here in the top lane. 100 Thieves is gonna clear that out. That's three inhibs. Yeah, 100 Thieves now with double super minions every single lane. They don't have Baron or anything, but they have so much pressure. That first Nexus turret has only regenerated back to half HP. Quid doing a great job poking at these guys. JoJo's gonna be careful every time he distorts forward. You know 100 Thieves are gonna be looking for him. Tomo with the satchels on the zigs. It's so easy to clear out these turrets. Vulcan wants the engage. Bullet time does a little, but it's only hitting Sniper. Vulcan's already down. Thanatos, Guardian Angel popped. JoJo dropped. Cloud9 stopped in their tracks. 100 Thieves say damn the doubters and take game number one. Tomo drops one last nuke on them at the fountain, and that'll do it. Really quick, we have to toss, but who, who do you think won the draft, all three of you? I, I'm a fan of the Thieves draft, to be honest with you. I like the Garen, I like the Ziggs into, like, Ziggs outranges all these characters. Um, can, can really boost morale and give them that, like, we deserve it attitude as Blabber will pass through. Yeah, they're going after Quid here. He'll try to get away from that one. JoJo, though, can just stick to him pretty easily. River shows up, provides a little bit of extra pressure to help Quid get away, but River, now the sacrificial lamb for his mid laner's sins. Sniper rotates over, but it's too slow, it's too late. It's first blood for Cloud9. And that's actually way worse. We'll see the objective trade, though, in the end. Yeah. Cloud9 taking Dragon uh, as River transitions up into the top side of the map for Grubs. This is a very similar thing to what we saw in the first game. River has secured those first two grubs. Remember that in game number one, 
Both times, Cloud9 was able to walk up with Blabber, Smite steal the third one. This time, Blabber's not there yet. Oh. The rest of C9's ready to deal with it. Meanwhile, Blabber's under pressure on the other side of the map as Tomo and Ayla go in after him. Void Grove's gonna be secured by River up on the top side at the same time as well, but 100 Thieves are in a bad spot. JoJo's a raid boss. 100 Thieves need to get the hell out of town. It's a three nothing game for C9. Oh. Yeah, that felt a little bit silly from 100 Thieves going in for that. I'm guessing maybe the plan was try to burst Vulcan or something at the very beginning. Now they're trying to find that damage on him yet again. Leona is so very tanky. They need a little bit more damage to do it. It looked like they wanted to save the Demacian Justice, but end up committing it anyway. And now they need to get this wave shoved up. But once again, JoJo reaches into his back pocket, finds an Ivern. You know, everybody else is melee. And if you're going to melee the Nasus that has stacked up this quickly, this is a fight. Th he's going to yeah. melee you back. 100 Thieves looking to start this one off they want to go for the high value target and blabber is already down before he can be that support that he needs to be flash over the wall from tomo to escape into the dragon pit but berserker's ready to flash after him jojo looking to escape now too as berserker gets one back on tomo one for one thus far I'd still but actually say that would be advantage cloud nine in the short term but a fight in mid lane now is Sniper! Oh, Sniper flashes in for the Ruthless Predator. Has that last little bit of extra auto attack range thanks to the buff on the ability to lock up Berserker and get the extra kill. This is him. So it is actually a very powerful pick. Plus, in laning phase, he takes fleet footwork, extra little bit of healing there. We joke about this all the time because of the amount of abilities in League of Legends. The, oh, the, the word description this. is a book report. They even feed him the stacks. Such an annoying item. Uh, it's always this Garen rush where it gives him so much utility. Yeah. Slowing you to be able to go for plays like this. JoJo eats a chunk of damage, but again, yeah. not really a whole lot. They want to keep mana. engaging. River going in for the dive. The bomb arrives from Tomo. They bust up the tier one turret, but they're very far forward. It's a one for one trade. River for JoJo. The Nasus is out of the picture, but Cloud9 is calling in backup. Quid's going to be careful here. 40% HP left on him, but a teleport for a teleport's the name of the game as Sniper ready to participate now as well. Dredge line from Vulcan would have been a lock out of the map. They might try to contest this. Tomo has the Mega Inferno Bomb, but with C9 having the control over this, Ivern also such a nuisance with these yeah. brushes, creating these extra pockets of safety around neutral objectives in this way, makes it so C9 can secure that one just pretty easily, as Tomo has to make his way all the way out of mid lane, go the long way around. But that is a very uh, viable burst target for them to go for, so... Good defensive vision is always a must here, especially since JoJo just wants to stack freely in the top lane. You see him right now doing it, uh, pushing up there while this Ziggs demolishes the mid lane tower. But we are already up to 327 stacks for JoJo. It's such a pain in the butt if he can spam all of those shields, all of those brushes. But if you take him out early, he's not super tanky. Yeah, and his focus is on keeping that Nasus up. Keep the Nasus on the front line and uh, he will be able to put out enough pressure as they take down this top tower. Everybody's going for yeah. it too. It might be a dive after There's it. no plating left. The Nasus is so stacked, it's very easy to burn down the turret. Quid, no chance to get away from that one. And now Vulcan is driving Shelly right into the tier two. Gonna look to take that one down, oh, finds boy. the collision, but now 100 Thieves are still willing to fight. What in the hell? River just delivers them an extra death. River not respecting differentiating this top three uh, in the LCS from the rest of the teams has been what they do to accelerate through the mid game. And it leads to scenarios like this where it feels like 100 Thieves, like you're saying, they're like a little bit dizzy or a little bit... As Quid shoves up the wave towards the tier two turret in the bottom lane. They want to take oh. this one. They've got the six grubs. River's going in, but where's the follow-up? Nobody else is there in time. The tier two turret is at least going to fall, but River has to flash away, just barely keeping himself alive. Sniper flashes in. They haven't found any value targets here just yet. JoJo's still on the front line. But it's a killing spree for Berserker. Hundred thieves. They might have got the turret, but they're just not on the same page in the fight. Before he's even got the redemption, the Moonstone Renewer. There's a lot of healing here. So being able to cut that down on everybody you're dealing damage to helps a ton. But man, when no. River just keeps finding no. himself in these really ridiculous positions, hundred thieves 
are in a pretty tough spot. 100 Thieves trying to stop it. All right, Cloud9 challenging 100 Thieves to answer this attempt on the Baron. It's already down to 7,000 HP. They there go. is no jungler for the Thieves. Ayla decides to go for the engage. The Baron's down to it's 1,200. It's secured by Blabber. And now there's no way for the Thieves to take the fight in a 3v5. Quid spinning. He ain't winning. Cloud9's grinning. It's all smiles as 100 Thieves can't keep up. Folk and Jojo jumping in, making sure they get four of them. Tomo's still standing, but there's nothing left to do. <laughs> no, 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 no. Bad blabber. No. Down. No. Calm down. <laughs> Take a deep breath. Get the soul. <laughs> I, I, I love that focus, though, especially after the after game number one. You know, there's going to be a lot of overreactions. Here. Get yourselves back into the series with a win here to try and even it, and then you can start to look more aggressive. And they've stayed very connected this entire game, even if they looked very disconnected in game one. I think partially that is kind of the only way you can play this team comp since you're all just melee champions that are running together. But even this play right here, nice timing to go in. Vulcan with a solar flare, tries to lock up Tomo. 100 Thieves can disengage in time, but not fast enough to save their tier one turret. Daisy's the only one who really takes any meaningful damage there. So Cloud9 can just back away. Cloud9 with a Cloud Soul now as well. Hmm. NASA loves this soul. How much they can just walk through turrets, because Ziggs is going to be able to clear waves, you would think. And they are yeah. all melee champions, basically, uh, in a team fight when Thanatos turns mega. 100 so. Thieves We're trying to look for any sort of an approach angle here. Ayla hits him with the dredge line, but it's not really that valuable. Over the wall comes River. They're trying to get Berserker, but it doesn't even matter. Tomo's already dead, and the Seeker's arm guard prevents any sort of retaliation. 100 Thieves have already lost two men, and it's not stopping there. Sniper wants his hero moment. Instead, he gets slammed back into the wall and beat down into the ground. A double kill for JoJo. Baron is no longer required. This game is done. C9 bounced back in a big way. Solid game. All around for them, Thanatos, I think, really bouncing back, getting one of his Gnar comfort picks here. And this one didn't really feel that close. C9 made it look pretty easy. The Garen was not the answer to the Nasus. The Ivern helped the entire time. C9 takes the dub in game two. They tie up this series and they pad their stats doing it. Just to add insult to injury, 17 to four. C9 makes it 1-1. They are gonna lock that in and it puts a lot of onus, I think, on Berserker to be able to get those big alts. I think mostly on Jojo. If he doesn't win lane, that this LeBlanc is not gonna be useful in the game. All right, uh, I'm gonna say that's not it, but <laughs> I 100% agree. <laughs> I 100% agree with the double trees. The thing with the double trees is that Ivern is the tree uh, that clears a little bit quicker. That's a head. word. It is correct. Yeah. Why does it's it sound so weird? Of an animal? Jojo! on mid lane. Okay, that's carnivorous. That was downright carnivorous. That was downright. Hitting him with the question mark in all chat. The classic flame. Yeah, that flame is, oh, top side. Yeah, they want to go in for this dive on Thanatos. Sniper with a slice and dice, but Thanatos, cool and collected, holds his summoner spells and only Sniper is forced to flash. Now River wants to go in after him. Wanted to flash Ooh. for the Bramble Smash. Twisted advance is so good at dropping the tower aggro. 100 Thieves get what they came for. And best world he actually got the response flash from quid so they're gonna have more repeat pressure around this lane vulcan shows first but look at ivern's here oh, too beautifully oh. done headbutt to the minion flash for the pulverized distance on quid oh but zary is still zary hopping over the wall there with the roller skates the potion enough to keep him alive through the ignite yeah. and so he still even loses out more this leblanc got a really big experience advantage because they actually were able to keep the wave in the middle and a bunch of minions kept on dying while quid had to go back to base so now you see level six jojo to level oh. five quid and the chain doesn't hit Wow, Quid, that was a I mean, very necessary little dodge there. Quid is playing with absolute fire right there. If he gets hit by that chain, he's probably dead one more time. But because he managed to go up there and dodge the chain, he's probably going to be able to hit six. Those first three grubs here for 100 Thieves. I also want to just comment really quickly on the fact that it's so easy for C9 to help Jojo because of the damage he has, because of the lockdown that LeBlanc has. The dragon that we had seen from Cloud9 uh, after their mid lane play. So they ended up trading those objectives. 
And now the classic control ward fight here where Daisy okay. gives the extra. Over the wall goes Vulcan. Headbutt pulverized, trying to go for Ayla, but Ayla is confident. He re-engages, thrown up into the air, flashing into the way of the bullet time, just barely staying alive, but it ain't gonna be enough. Jojo with the auto attack to finish him off. River wants to flash away, but Blabber wins the plant battle. C9, two for one. Those can both try to work their way towards this as Jojo jumps over the wall. River now having to retreat away from that one. Twisted advance onto a minion to try to escape the chain. Still ends up taking the damage well, from Sniper's the second low. part of the proc. Sniper's getting chased away by Thanatos, but now it's Vulcan locked up here. 100 Thieves CC doing a good job with the zap to the wall, trying to keep the rest of C9 zoned out. He's a tanky cow, but he's still going down. 100 Thieves get the one kill out of the skirmish. Yeah. Really? The fight when they had Jojo there early, but the combo doesn't land, and then when they're already down... Drake without any sort of a contest, and at the end of the last game, I said 100 Thieves, they live by River, they die by River. His first game on the Maokai was so good. His his second game on the Vi was so not, and it looks like he's back in game one mode here again in our third head-to-head -head between these two. All right, so Captain Flowers starting the petition. Keep Nick and Nero Smith. Oh, thanks, bud. Coaching legend of the LCS. Bald brother to you and I. <laughs> so this man, is he getting doing a shout work? out because he's your friend or because he gifted 50? Both. <laughs> anyway, let's see what gets gifted here with his Herald. It looks like Cloud9 ain't giving nothing to nobody as 100 Thieves are just going to take it by force. C9 still trying to get test a little bit, though. Harold Eyeball picked up by Quid on the Zeri. We'll see where they can end up dropping this. Want to draw your attention to the gold differences right now. The oh, biggest Ayla. gold difference is still JoJo. He was on and a And that is why he can grab the kill so easily like that. But Quid's looking to put some pain right back into him. JoJo's going to lose the clone. Nature's Grasp does not find him. 100 Thieves won't get anything back. And at the same time, Cloud9 takes the Tier 1 down in the bottom lane. But now the Herald's summoned up. Quid's going to commit that one to the Tier 1 here in the top lane. Honestly, didn't even really need it, but they're just going to use it anyway. And that... Uh, <laughs> all right. Whoopsies. Uh, uh, okay. That play. He had a no Magic Mantle in his inventory, but mm. still popped 100% 2-0 there by JoJo. Three kills now for him in the LeBlanc. Still 100 Thieves right back to the same game plan. Get these outer towers down. Top side was taken care of. Mid lane, though. Has 100 Thieves are again always on the retreat. JoJo playing this LeBlanc aggressively. There's Jumps the W. Again. Hey, let's take it a ton of damage. But now the Wombo combo from 100 Thieves shuts them down. Just like game one, 100 Thieves combos their area of effect and forces Cloud9 back. Point and click plus AOE, dead LeBlanc. River has had enough. The herbivores are striking back, Flowers. And they are doing it with violence, my friend. Let's take another look. The question. Okay, here we go. 100 nice thieves. Move. Knocking it down. Easy pick up there with the tier one. Turn it over 1,000 gold lead now for the thieves. Thieves, the thieves, the thieves. He's ready to respond here. Thanatos does not have his teleport, though, so he has to walk all the way up from the bottom lane the normal way. Jojo they chased the down by the twisted advance yet again. He's caught out yet again. River on the Maokai marks his man, and he gets him every time. Well, May just run straight. Yeah, Tomo's in a lot of trouble here as Jojo wanted to jump in on him. Both of these mages is going to take some serious damage there as Jojo distorts away from the minefield. 100 Thieves just want to get this Drake and get out. They still don't have the cooldowns back for a lot of those tools, those resources they used in the initial pick onto Jojo. Came all the way yeah. up over the desk. That was spooky. I mean, the fact that Quid is confident enough to just E over like that. Ooh, Thanatos and Vulcan, though, think they might have found a potential pick. Sniper's down to one third HP. Sterex Gage gonna pop, but immediately they turn it right back onto Jojo. There is one plan every damn time. Baron, so they'd have to slow walk a Daisy in and maybe try and get it. I think they're just going to trade mid turret and give up the Baron. No contest. And critically, you can see Sniper sitting in the fountain, waiting on the last couple of seconds on the TP, but he's also waiting to see if he even needs to. He's not going to commit it. 100 Thieves don't even have to spend that resource. All right, let's see if 100 Thieves can close it all out, seal the deal. Jojo trying to step up here, threatened with a distortion. Bullet time flies through. Sniper's going to take a ton of damage. Quinn is already almost dead. They aren't going to find him instead. It's just Jojo yet again. Understood the assignment. Now with the teleport coming out, they're going to put Sniper back in the bottom lane. The remainder of the team continues pushing together as a four-man unit back in mid. And now it's a pincer assault on both mid and bottom lane tier three turrets at the same time. 
I saw 17 life on Quid and he survives it. And now 100 Thieves take half of Cloud9's base in one fell swoop. I saw zero life on JoJo. Well. <laughs> I also saw that. That's yeah. a pretty yeah. And that's been the story number. of this game. It's, it's over half of the kills for 100 Thieves and they're easily taking the space because C9 actually has no way in. And I'm glad you mentioned that Verdant Barrier earlier on Tomo, right? I mean, Sniper tanked basically an entire bullet time as well on the Renekton here. Yeah. The Sterics gauges are incredibly powerful as now it looks like Vulcan's your target. 100 Thieves willing to commit onto the enemy's support. A little bit more damage will bring them down and there it is. Finally, it's somebody not named Jojo, but they ain't done yet. Another one comes through as Blabber drops. Thanatos trying to stand and defend. C9 get a couple back finally, but the fight's still going the wrong way. Thanatos locked up by Sniper. Tomo needs a little bit more damage over the wall, but he ain't quite gonna find the skill shots just yet. So an even two for two. They try to continue this push here into the top lane tier three turret the Maokai ulti flies out the lock up onto Thanatos but it ain't enough to kill him magnet strong from Ayla locks up everybody drags them all to their device bullet time plus the turret takes out the hundred thieves support but River is not done he'll trade his life away as they continue the chase Vulcan is eliminated and the super minions are marching in from the previously claimed inhibitors that were taken in bot and mid first nexus turret is already down and the second is in the sights of 100 Thieves. Quid's getting jumped on by Thanatos, but he's got the shield bow. He's still alive, he's still firing. He still don't care. Cloud9 are pushed to the brink, and 100 Thieves are one game away from Worlds. What a performance in game three. But it is gonna be Yone as that final pick here, and 100 Thieves potentially could lock their LCS final spot and their world's ticket in this game. Take it away, casters. As 100 Thieves doesn't have much of a response with Sniper a full level of EXP behind, like you already mentioned, with Quid so low on health here versus Jojo Pune in the mid lane. To immediately start this up, and Kaisa really does a lot of work on Dragons. And it's one thing you got to remember, too, with this new modern version of Skarner. Flash ult is not what it used to be, where it's just instant, we got the guy, let's go. You still have the cast time. You still have to deal with that. And yeah, make okay. 100 Thieves, they're racing for it. They have a whole lot less health to cut through. C9 does have the Ziggs. The they will satchel. have the Satchel to try to do it. that execute here. 100 Thieves is moving pretty slow, and C9 brings in the Demolition Crew. It's first turret for them. They're execute on the tower. Berserker gets it done. First turret bonus. It's still going to be 100 Thieves, you know, getting a bunch of money into specifically the Kai'Sa, though. Tomo, who is such a big part of this comp. You know, the Kai'Sa, we talked about last time when they played up against uh, the Ziggs, and it was kind of reverse scenarios, and they actually had the lane phase there. But uh, with your ultimate as well, and look at this Blast Cone. Over the wall. River's in. River's in there. First. Grub secured by, I believe, C9 as 100 Thieves is ready for the engage, but River goes in way too early. Nobody else is around him. Vulcan is zoning away the rest of the roster as Thanatos chases after the Sejuani. Now Sniper is Whoa. ready to work together there with the Yone. Their fate is sealed, but they're ready to go all out with Thanatos. Sniper's down now as 100 Thieves rage forward. Quint needs a little bit more damage, but he ain't gonna find it here. Just oh. yet. He's locked up. He's shut down. He is refused, and Cloud9 will not go quietly here just yet. Vulcan dies on the very back into the fight. Blabber is low. Thanatos is low. River is in. And it's a double kill for the Kai'Sa. Thanatos is on the run and blood soaks the top side river for both teams. Going over to C9, but now with the dragon up, there's almost two concurrent objectives going oh, on. Oh, Blabber's the one to be caught now. Manages to get himself away before a whole lot more punishment, but it costs the solar flare from Vulcan. That's the big primary engage tool, and that means that 100 Thieves will force C9 back and secure themselves their second Drake of the game. But importantly, the Herald is also spawning now. C9 has first rotation to the top side river for this one. Man, what a game we have right you here. You do not want any part of fighting that Rift Herald. You have to give it up 200 Thieves. And I would say also, really big uh, play from River. You know, he actually is able to lure Blabber away, and then they prey on him with their vision advantage from the brush from mid, and getting that chunk onto Blabber, and then pushing them out, and as you say, Flowers, using the extra peel of the Leona ultimate, like, that play was just a, like, missed play from Blabber attempt on River, and then River hitting his play onto Blabber, and soaking up just enough cooldowns, even though they don't get a kill, to yeah. earn themselves objectives. More damage heavy, like a Leandries, he knows this entire 100 Thieves squad is
this dive, and they got their eyes on Berserker and JoJo. And even though Cloud9 as a team have the gold lead, and JoJo is ahead, and Thanatos is ahead, from the 100 Thieves side, they're looking at Tomo still, but top side. Yeah, nice! Ulti Whoa. from Blabber pulling both of them back in there. River wants to lock up JoJo, but he flashes back over the wall. Sniper's ready to flash after him. He wants JoJo, but River's already down. JoJo will be traded for him, and the fight breaks out. Watch Fate Tomo. seal right back onto Thanatos, and Cassante's going nowhere. Quit getting the money on that one, and 100 Thieves goes two for one. Bring everyone up just a split second earlier and find the extra kill. Now they're going to be able to take towers as well. Blabber yeah. can't do much about it. The Skarner's trying to farm his own jungle. They've got topside taken care of. The value of those kills is not equal whatsoever. It's two soul laners for a jungler who managed to get off all his CC and shielding. So even though River was the first to fall... 100 Thieves, Renekton, and the Rel both love this dragon. So as Ayla goes in for the engage, yet again, the AoE. They got Jojo. Wombo combo with Quid. Jojo is down again. 100 Thieves just keep finding him. A nice e strong impact from Blabber, but it's too damn little. It's too damn late. The Thieves are here. Whatever is yours is now theirs. A triple kill for Tomo. A four for nothing. 400 Thieves. Unless Thanatos somehow keeps himself alive, the Cassandra fighting and fighting and fighting and fighting but again it's just not no, enough no, no. tomo oh. seven zero and one that was beautiful from the bottom lane as a whole tomo really baited jojo there dodges yeah. both of them and allowed ayla the fall on the reaction cam for jojo jojo is normally one of our mo more emotionless players he's always usually just chilling whatever happens happens you can see some frustration on his face with that one as hundred thieves are now over two thousand gold ahead with the herald used here mid river wanted to hop in the uber but cloud nine just grand theft autoed the car blew it up play after play ayla's rel has been absolutely immaculate he might go He's in the tri brush. JoJo spots him out with a Foss Bomb. But now Ayla just sees that as the opportunity to go right back in. But a big old combo. Blabber. They combo it together with Berserker finally. Is it going to be enough? Yes, the Thieves are forced back. Tomo goes legendary, though. Sniper's about to die, so it's a one for one. 100 Thieves, very low HP. Tomo still looking to see if maybe there's something else. 100 Thieves will secure a Cloud Soul with a Renekton and a Rel on their team. That is so much team fight and engage power. Even Kaisa flying in the back line and then going wherever the heck she wants with the incre incredible move speed. They're committing to the split. They want to at least get a secondary tower out of it, but 100 Thieves are grouping. Yeah, Quid already using the soul unbound. This Kaisa is huge. As long as Tomo yeah. is in the fight and does not get exploded, it's hard for 100 Thieves to lose. Going to be so fast as well after the killer instinct. Let's take a look at the brush. They get in. Okay, they stun Thanatos. They drop an ignite on him very early. Sniper is also over to use the Dominus, but Rivers into the back line. Berserker's about to die. Oh, but if he goes anywhere else, he's all ready, dead. Sniper gets the kill. Three man ulti from Blabber ain't going to be enough to do anything. Berserker and Jojo are already down. 100 Thieves will not be stopped. Tomo is just too damn good. He, he finds the initial engage for them, and they just steamroll. That is Baron, and that is more all chat oh from Sniper. God. Holy moly, he has no chill. The best time right now. I don't know how you couldn't be, man. 100 Thieves are looking great to close this series out. 7,000 gold ahead, 90 seconds left on the Baron as they clear out the remaining turrets standing outside the Cloud9 base. And now they're a fight away from Worlds. Get ready. River or Ayla could always snap engage at any moment, and there it is. Blabber's about to die. He flashes over the wall, but Tomo's already legendary. River's going to take a bunch of damage back as the Mega Inferno Bomb comes over the top and over the wall. The fate sealed. The game is about to be sealed. Jojo is dead again, and Tomo will not stop here. Sniper chases Thanatos all the way back away. River was the sacrifice, but it was a noble sacrifice indeed, as 100 Thieves have spearheaded their way into the base. They're going to do it here. They're going for the recall for Quinn. 12 more back in on the Nexus turrets. Double TP. Both teleports coming in at the same time as 100 Thieves will put the finishing touches on this series. They will turn out the lights on Cloud9 season and 100 Thieves are going to Worlds. Sniper in his rookie split. These were some of the best highlights from today's 2024 LCS Summer Playoffs matchup. Which moment was your favorite? Let me know in the comment section below.